So, of course, as everyone knows, Odin just came out today, or Odin, if you want to pronounce it in the old-fashioned way. So, of course, we had to jump right on his uniform. We are ranked 1,913. I've got his uniform on advanced. I do have a CTP of Rage with max stats on it, of course. Dodge is a little bit on the low side, but the critical rate is beautiful. I've got a Poa, fully awakened, and... All of his stuff is at 6, of course. I do have all of his stuff fully awakened, and I've got some decent gear on him. Reasonable stats going on here. So we're going to go ahead and try him out in two different modes really quick. The first mode that we're going to be trying out, Odin, is going to be World Boss Ultimate. Since he's universal, he should be able to kick anyone's butt. He is only a Tier 2, obviously. And then we will awaken as much of his potential as possible. Then we'll take him up against some GBR. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? I don't know who we want to try him up against first. We'll probably try him up against a few different characters because why not? We will go ahead and start with the terrible Thanos because Thanos is a pain in the butt. We'll go ahead and max this out as much as possible, which is 35 for me. The point here is not to see how high of a level he can clear, just to see generally how well he does. We'll go ahead and maybe try it with this team here. We actually want to give him some nice boost going on. So... Let's go ahead and give him some support teams, like something like this. So he actually has a support with him, and he also gets the team-up bonus. This is the team we'll probably use against all the world boss ultimates. Let's go ahead and give it a shot here. We'll go with all the universal strikers here. Maybe we'll add in some healing. So yeah, we've got three universals. I like to use the ancient one, and we've got some healing from anti-venom going on. Let's go ahead and kick some butt. So his 5 actually does a whole bunch of really cool stuff, and it can actually be interrupted. I actually found out his 2 does some pretty good penetration going on. So we'll actually mix up his skills here. I don't know his perfect rotation. I really don't. But I know his 2 his two will actually do some defense down stuff. His 3 actually has an accumulation on it. Oh boy, and that's what I was worried about. Thanos might wreck me a little bit early here so we're going to use this for some accumulation and then i'm probably going to go into his two let him throw a spear and five like i said we're going to interrupt that as soon as he slams his spear down which is gungnir gungnir is the name of his spear schleppnir is the name of his horse so for those of you that are interested here's some trivia for you on how to pronounce things properly by the old nordic way even though it's a comic book world and let's face it the old Norse would never wear horns like this, but that's okay. We can we can we can forgive them. I do think it's kind of cool that when you do his three, like Hunan or Munin actually will appear. We actually see that Raven, which is pretty cool. And yes, Ik taler bala smolves Eastern school. So I do understand a little bit of the Norse. Oh no, no! Wow, we walked right out of that. That was. Pretty legit. Let's do some accumulation there. Go right into the five, four. Let's try a two after that while we're on the cooldown with the other skills. He does th throw Gungnir at the end. Uh, the old legends, the old Nordic stories, he'd actually threw Gungnir, Gungnir, and Gungnir would actually, it, was, it actually means the swaying one. It would hit any target he threw it at and then return to his hand, which is pretty cool. You know, considering the fact that he is a tier two, this is actually pretty decent. I mean, we are talking about a stage 35, uh, which is uh, no, which is by no means an easy feat for even tier three characters to get through, let alone a tier two character. I'm actually liking not only the damage output but the general survivability. I really like this new uniform a lot. Love the fact that they gave him Gungnir, his classic spear. Uh, yeah. Let's see what else we got going on here. I do feel like I'm going to run out of time. Uh, this really suggests that a Tier 3 Odin would absolutely crush Thanos. I definitely think this is a worthwhile investment. You can see Hunan or Munin flying around. Thought and Memory is two Ravens. Uh, you only see one of them, so I'm not sure where the other one is, but it's still kind of cool that they include that. Like I said here, I don't know his perfect rotation, but I'm really starting to dig that. Uh, three, five, cancel into four, let two finish. Maybe throw an... Oh, no, that is not good. That is not good, but we are the All-Father, so we will survive that bullshit like this. Got no time for that, Thanos. We got no time for you and your, your childish play. Even at level 
freaking 35. I'm really thinking he he might actually do pretty good in some PvP. Uh, really looking forward to seeing him in... Ooh, no you don't, no you don't. Oh, I was going to switch there. So unfortunately, he did do a single hit. Got him down to nine bars with a 1 minute 42 seconds left. Not too bad. So of course, we're going to try again. Try a different world boss ultimate. Since Black Dwarf is also pain in the butt, and we are going to max this out at 99. Again, I don't expect him to do this. I just want to see what he's capable of. All right, again, I like three, five, cancel in the four, hit that two, and let the two finish, I'm, I guess. Like I said, I don't know the perfect rotation. I'll pop a one in there, three, five, four, and two. Let him throw Gungnir, and then I'll hit my one, three, five, four. It looked like I interrupted that too quickly. I did not see his larger version of himself come, so I definitely want to let that five play out a little bit longer there we go wait till the big version of himself we want to see all those meteors striking as well he also does like a little lightning bolt thing from four so we want to we want to allow those moves to finish enough for him to do the strikes and do the additional damage not doing as impressive here on the damage output obviously this is a world boss ultimate 99 so this is definitely definitely going to be much much more difficult we also have all the resistance up and most of the folks that can actually take on this stage are going to be folks that have like the all defense down switch out striker thing still i mean he's surviving uh that 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 alone is an impressive feat not really doing any damage all things considered so i am actually going to end this here because this is pretty clear we're not going to be able to even dw dwindle him down but again we're talking about a tier two Still, seeing that survivability with that uniform, beautiful, beautiful stuff. With Proxima, let's see. I think I have her on 84. Let's see if he can do 83. I don't think he can. Um, I want to give it a shot, and then I'll drop probably down the 50 just to awaken some of his potential. Any sort of damage that's worth speaking of, which may be... Ooh, wow, nope. We, we had an opening there in my rotation uh, as I was waiting for a skill to go off and waiting for it to cool down. It did get deleted. That's a shame. Maybe we'll do some more canceling. Even though I want to see him throw that spear, Gungnir in two, I think we're going to need to cancel that one as well. Into one, and then do three again. That's what I think I'm going to do. So the five, cancel when you see him. Into four. And then do two, spin for a few seconds, cancel into one, three again. Ooh, I'm going to need to heal up. She hit me hard there with some of her spears. Yep, I am gone. It's a shame. It is indeed a shame. Oh, of course I'm going to tier 3 him. I'm going to tier 3 him as soon as humanly possible. All right. So we will come right back to some World Boss Ultimate really quick. I do want to try him out in some GBR just to show some of those numbers. We're going to create a lobby. Ooh. We're going to open this up so you can see the damage. Again, I don't know it's perfect rotation yet, so I'm just kind of playing around with rotations. His uniform is 1,500 crystals. I'm 
Unfortunately, I can't try him out in timeline because guess what? He's banned. Because that's what Netmarble likes to do to us. Introduce a new character and then ban them instantly in time timeline. Probably because they don't want people to misrepresent how underpowered he'll be until he's actually built to a tier 3 is the only thing I can think of. Um, I really can't think of any other reason to ban him. You know, that's that damage isn't too shabby, actually. Oh, man, he's he's killing me. He's killing me because he's mind control and he's still attacking. What a jerk. What an absolute jerk. I was thinking of testing him with and without a rage, but I don't even want to play with it. I just want to give him a rage right away because it's Odin. And I should have waited longer on the five. Got to wait for his, uh, for himself to appear out of the ground before you cancel it. Otherwise, you're going to have no damage. So he stabs the ground right there. Then you can cancel it. Wow. Okay, so right now I'm doing all of the damage here. What is? How much damage is that? Holy crap. Am I up to a million already? Within a few seconds? Yeah, we, we, we've got him, man. We've got him. It's not a fast clear, but again, we're talking tier two here. We are talking tier two. Let him do his little push-up thing, even though he's basically dead right now. I'll just drag these purple blast circles out here, and we will come up over here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Not, not too shabby. Not too shabby. So, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm pretty happy with that. But let's use him against someone. He might do decent again. Now, he does have the ignore dodge built in, which might be great against Corvus. But let's try call. But instead of call 99 like we did earlier, he had, he'd survived. He just wasn't doing any damage. Let's try 50. And we'll, we'll end the stream after this. We're going to use that same team. We're going to use his leadership. Thor on the team. Valkyrie as the support. Use these as our strikers. We do have a healing striker in there just in case. I love using Ancient One. And then, of course, we got the universal types. Let's go ahead and see how it goes. All right. So again, I like to do three, five, wait until he appears, cancel in the four, two, give it a few seconds on two, which you can move around, one, and then go back into three, five. I'm going to do a team fight in there, too. He does have accumulation on his three. 
And like I said, while he's spinning around Gungnir here on his two, you can actually move around, which is pretty cool. He does have damage immunity on his five. Like, they gave him some nice moves on his uniform. And I would definitely recommend getting it. All right, well, if I could have stayed on him and he wasn't dancing around like a little nut job, I probably could have had him dead by now, but it's all right. It's all right. There we go. Minute and 40, one minute, 42 seconds left. Stage 50, world boss ultimate. Odin at tier two. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. No potential realization out of that. 11% is pitiful. <gasps> Sob. So there's the stats again. Not too shabby on the stats. Uniforms that advanced right now. I do have a CTP of Rage on them. Fully awakened POA. And just to show you those skills. So like I said, this is why I'm doing that rotation. 3, 5, wait for him to appear. Cancel 4, 2, one and then repeat so his three here does accumulation and you see Hunan or Munin here actually you might see both because I, I thought I saw another one uh, which is of course thought and memory and uh, yeah that's just a nice little power up with some accumulation so it sum summons an illusion with 50% stats 100% chance for immunity to all damage accumulates 10% true damage beautiful stuff there the total accumulated damage cannot pass 10,000. Uh, zero point increase of all attack. So we got all attack. We got energy, extra energy. Beautiful stat there. Then I like to do the five. So you can cancel this after he appears. So he slams. He appears there with the Odin sword and the meteors fall down. So again, you can cancel that the second he appears with his sword. Just to see the stats on this, you can hold down the button over it. So it applies to enemies Deals 30% burn damage, stuns, incapacitation, negative 3.5, decrease all defense, stacks up to 40%, ignore immunity, which is going to be beautiful in PvP. Invincibility, increase all attacks and defenses by plus 20%, increase speed, critical rate, removes incapacitation, and does energy damage. Beautiful stuff there. And then his four, so you'll slam here, and he does this little shell around him, and he... Slashes up with Gungnir and does this little swipe. Schwump. So, looking at that one, it applies to enemies. It deals bleed damage for one second. Removes elasticity, which remember, elasticity is how they absorb damage, which is awesome. It silences. You know what this means? This means when you're doing ABX, he can silence the beast here on his four. Ignore target's dodge rate by 100%. Corvus Glaive, we're definitely going to be experimenting with Corvus Glaive later, and it does energy damage as well. Now, his two is mentioned when he's swinging Gungnir around, you can actually move. So I can actually move the character around, and then he's going to throw it. Beautiful stuff there, beautiful stuff. So you can actually move and direct where he's floating, slowly, but it's something. So negative 2% decrease all defenses, stacks up to negative 25%, ignore immunity. Applies itself, guards against two hits and energy damage. So again, I like to put that in there. You don't necessarily have to do it the whole time till the throw, which is awesome, but I would prefer to. And then of course you have his slashes with his little charge on his one. This does bleed damage, removes elasticity again, and does energy damage. Beautiful stuff. And just for all of you, this is his tier three move right here. Summons the Bivrost. That's right. It's not Bifost, it's Bivrost. You can see Thor there, or Thor, you can see his Valkyrie coming in, and he actually does come in on Schleppnir, which is the name of his eight-legged horse. There you go. Odin, or Odin, with Gungnir, his spear, which is swaying one. Awesome stuff there. So I like to do a three, five, wait till he appears, four, 
two for a few seconds, one, go back into three. That's the rotation I'm going to use for right now. Have fun with it. Play around. Definitely super psyched about the character, the build, the uniform, and can't wait to get him to tier three. I will be tier threeing him as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.